Welcome back, Gates Chalet students. It's Mr. Fish. In this session, we're going to be doing two things. First, in Schoology, if you have any assignments that you haven't finished or submitted in, that is your goal to get those done. So I'm giving you some extra time. If you haven't finished those and handed them in, remember, go to the assignment, go to the little button that says Submit, and submit your artwork there. And I'm also going to show you a technique where, in case you're having trouble with your camera, uh, you might want to use the SNP tool as well. Uh, the SNP tool is down at the bottom of your screen if you've loaded it there, or you can search for it in your magnifying glass. If you type in the word SNP, S-N-I-P, your SNP tool will pop up. I like to pin it to my start bar because I use it all the time. All right, when you open up the SNP tool app, it's going to ask you to make a new or change the mode. Just worry about new. You're going to click new. And wherever you drag this little crosshairs, it will take a picture of your screen. The nice thing about this is it's any website you go to, anything that you're looking at with your camera, or if, you're, um, if you have artwork up on your page, it'll let you turn this into a picture. You go to File, Save As, and then you decide where you want to put your artwork. I always keep my artwork in my pictures, in my camera roll. That way I know if I take pictures or if I keep artwork there, that's where it's going to be. Unless you have other folders you want to keep it in. As long as you remember where you're saving it to, and then you click Save. I'll go back to the SNP tool in a second. Now, if you are all caught up with all your work in Schoology, then you get to use three interactive websites, and you can pick which one you want to do. Uh, we're going to add your artwork from these to a shared media album that will be in your Schoology. Right now I'm looking in the fourth grade one, but all the grade levels are going to have a shared media album that will look just like this. They'll have the three little photographs and it'll say shared media album here. First website we're going to look at is This Is Sand. I know some of you have tried this and it's a really cool interactive website. It's thisissand.com. When you first open it up, you may have to activate Flash or allow Flash to work because uh, Flash is something that is a, allows the program to work on your computer. Just say yes. And wherever you click your mouse on the screen, it's going to pour sand. And these are great for creating landscapes, a nice mountain scene or pyramids. But it's that triangle shape. Right now, the colors are picked for me. So this is a color scheme up here. If I click on here and I want to change colors, I'll go to blue. Maybe try some blue sand. Wherever I drag and click the button, it'll drop the sand. If I want to go back to sand that changes colors, I'll hit this little target, and it'll give me a preset range of color for me again. And then this, wherever I drag, will slowly change colors across the scene. You want to fill the whole thing up, and then you're going to use that SNP tool to take a picture and save it to the gallery. The second website is jacksonpollock.org. These websites will all have links to them below when you go into your Schoology. jacksonpollock.org bases its work off of Jackson Pollock, who is a famous abstract artist. He used paint to drip and pour on his canvases. So wherever you move your mouse, over the screen, it's going to drip and pour paint, imaginary or virtual paint. When I click the button, it's going to change the color of the paint. So you can fill the screen. Every time I click the button, it'll change the colors for me. If I don't want green, I'll click it until I get a new color. Oh, and it kind of picks different colors for you. And you can create your own design, fill the whole page. You could write a word with these if you're careful. I know using the mouse and writing letters is not the easiest thing to do, but the nice thing is you can also use your finger on your touch screen if you have the touch screen option, and it'll drag the paint too using your finger. Again, when you're ready to take a picture of this, use your SNP tool and drag it over and then save it. The last one is the Silk Interactive Generative Art, and it's weavesilk.com. Weavesilk.com, there's a color picker here, so let's say I want to start with blue. All right, this is going to use symmetry to create a design. And right now, this is my little symmetry bar. It says there's no rotational symmetry. It is just two lines of symmetry, like a mirror. So wherever I drag, and it's going to look like silk when I draw. Wherever I drag this, the other side is going to do the exact same thing. So it mirrors the image. That is bilateral symmetry. I can change my symmetry. I can increase it all the way up to six points of symmetry, more like a snowflake. And I can create 
that rotational or radial symmetry using those six lines of symmetry. Don't forget you can change your colors and get some pretty cool effects using this. Again, like all the others, use the snip tool. All right, I've got mine pinned, but remember you can look for snip if you type it in by the magnifying glass. When I click it, my screen, after I go to new, my screen will go gray, where, and then I'll have this little crosshair show where I drag, click and drag my crosshairs over my picture. Now that's gonna turn it into a picture. I wanna save it. Oops, I clicked a new one accident. Same thing. I wanna save it in file. So I go up to file, I'm gonna save it as, and I've already done this. So you'll see in my pictures, in my camera roll, that's where I want my pictures to be saved. Now I'll go back just in case you're not sure how to get there. Pictures, here's my camera roll folder. Open that up. I'm gonna save this as fish. I'll put my name in it and weave silk. That's the website that it came from. I have options to save it as different types of files. I like to keep mine as JPEGs all the time. They're the most versatile type of picture file for submitting to things, so I keep them as JPEGs and I'll click save. Now, once you've saved it, go back to Schoology, find your shared media album and click on that. All right, once you open up your shared media album, you can see I've already saved this in here once and it's got my name on here, but I'm gonna show you what happens when you put yours in for the first time. You're gonna click add media, attach the file. Now it should take me to my pictures folder because I've been there before, that's where it brings me. If yours isn't taking you there, let's say it took you to another folder, you want to, again, find your pictures, find your camera roll, open it up. Here's my new artwork, Fish Weave Silk. So I'm going to open that up. It just loaded it. It says complete down here. And now I have to add my media. There's my picture. Now, people will see your name if they hover over it, but there's nothing underneath this. There's no caption for it. So if you want to add your name, and I recommend you add your name in the title, Click on the picture. Over here on the side, you want to edit caption and just type in your name. I'm going to put Mr. Fish. And I'll call this one Blue Snowflake. It looks like a blue snowflake. When you go back to the album and you open it up, oh, not that one. It's going to take me right out of my fourth grade folder. There we go. Go back to my shared media album. Now my picture has my name underneath it, and you can see it. Uh, once you've added a work of art, then you can also look at other people's and you can comment on their artwork. I recommend you give them a compliment or stay positive. Make sure you're thoughtful about your comments so you're not just typing in random words or things like that. Uh, and that way we can get to see and share each other's artwork and we can comment on it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope the extra time helps some of you that weren't able to hand in and submit your artwork. Don't forget that SNP tool. Again, if you need to find it, look in your magnifying glass, type in SNP, and it will pop up. And don't forget to pin it to your toolbar so you can use it again. I hope you guys enjoy this, and have a great break.